Good afternoon and welcome to the online launch of Harvest Ed Geelong for 2021. My name is Brendan and I'm the Education Programs Coordinator at the Asia Education Foundation. I'd like to begin today's session by acknowledging the traditional owners of country throughout Victoria and recognising their continuing connection to land, waters, sky and culture and pay respects to their elders past and present. Harvest Ed is agricultural education for global citizens. It's an innovative new education program designed by the Asia Education Foundation at the University of Melbourne to connect secondary school students in the Geelong region to the local and global agricultural sector. Harvest Ed is about seeding change. It's about connecting communities and harvesting potential through exploring how agriculture connects Geelong to the world. Students will engage with agricultural businesses, exploring issues and innovation through the lenses of design thinking, intercultural learning and international markets. The Harvest Ed program enables students to participate in authentic learning experiences in their community, locating learning in a global context with a focus on the impact and exchange with Asia. So you might be asking why Asia? Did you know that four out of five of Australia's top agricultural export destinations are Asian countries in China, Japan, the Republic of Korea and Indonesia? As you know, with access to the largest port in regional Victoria and Avalon Airport within the region, Geelong is perfectly positioned for connection to the world. So how does Harvest Ed connect with your school and your curriculum? Well, Harvest Ed has been carefully designed to address the Victorian curriculum general capabilities, as well as the cross curriculum priorities by supporting your students to enrich their intercultural learning through diverse local perspectives and the context of Asia that recognize our commonalities and our differences, strengthening their connections to their local and indeed global community. Students through involvement in the program will develop personal and social capability as they build positive relationships, they make responsible decisions, they work effectively in teams beyond their school, they handle challenging situations constructively, and they develop their leadership skills. They'll use technology, understanding its possibilities, limitations and impact on individuals, group and communities. And they'll also explore some of the innovations in technologies happening right across the world in the agricultural sector. The students will develop their critical and their creative thinking skills as they learn to generate and evaluate knowledge, clarify concepts and ideas, and consider alternatives and solve problems. As you can see in the flow chart here, the process of Harvest Ed is for looking at local and global agricultural challenges and indeed opportunities, drawing on the general capabilities, the disciplinary skills and knowledge, and also at your school, you might have specific subjects or electives that you can draw upon, such as humanities, commerce, food technologies, economics, or business management, to name a few. Then in groups, students will use design thinking processes to come up with these innovative solutions. The Harvest Ed Challenge. The challenge is increase our shared understanding of issues and opportunities that are emerging in the agricultural industry, particularly between Australia and Asia. Identify a design challenge that can be tackled by using skills and knowledge from STEM disciplines, the general capabilities, as well as design thinking. To work collaboratively between schools to design a pitch package for a new service or product and to receive feedback from industry ex experts and other groups. And finally, to deliver a pitch to other teams and industry experts. So the important questions you might be thinking are the who and the when. So who can apply for this Harvest Ed program? Harvest Ed is open to students from years eight to 10 with up to 10 students from each school in the Geelong region eligible to apply. This program is proudly supported by the William Buckland Foundation and is fully funded. So therefore there is no cost to schools or students to be involved in this initiative. The program will commence in term two of 2021, and it will involve eight sessions, which are spread across three terms. The program will involve a mix of online as well as face-to-face -face workshop 
in partnership with Geelong sites such as the National Wool Museum. Now, the Harvest Ed program, as I said, will feature eight different sessions, and they're broken up into four categories, future farming, connecting communities, seeding change, and harvesting potential. So I'd like to use this opportunity now to quickly touch on those four categories. The first one being future farming. As the image demonstrates on your screen, the future of farming is right now. Precision technology, vertical farming, bioscience, robotics, drones, temperature and moisture sensors, aerial images and GPS technology are just a handful of the recent agricultural technology that's being used in Geelong and surrounding regions to solve problems. And this is what our students and your students will connect to. As alluded to earlier, the Asia Education Foundation, along with its links to Melbourne University through AsiaLink, will draw upon our networks, our community and our international engagement to bring guest speakers, expert advisors and mentors to this program. So students will work with the industry experts for site visits and they'll also provide, the experts will also provide feedback to our students on their pitches and their design thinking to create pathways for their actions and their ideas. So one such example of a partnership is the National War Museum, who will be hosting both an online and an in-person session at. So I'd now like to introduce Stephanie Rosestone, who's the Engagement, Learning and Programs Manager at the National Wool Museum of Geelong. Welcome, Stephanie. Thanks, Brendan, uh, and hello to everyone. Uh, we're really thrilled to be partnering with the Asia Education Foundation for this Harvest Ed program. Uh, the National Wool Museum, I'm sure many of you are aware, are in, is in central Geelong, uh, near the end of Mirable Street. Uh, and although perhaps the Wool Museum's previously been seen as a, a place of keeping history, uh, we see it as broader than that and we're really keen to be involved in these concepts around future farming and innovative education. Uh, the Wool Museum is in an old wool store, which you can see right there, and that is right down near the foreshore in Geelong. And that represents the history of the wool industry in Geelong really being connected globally right from the very beginning. It was near the, um, near the foreshore because the foreshore was where the ships were and so on. So that's a really important connection for us to uh, explore. If we can go to the next slide, Brendan. So we're going through a really exciting period of redevelopment at the moment. The National Wool Museum is part of the city of Greater Geelong, and we're redeveloping some of our core exhibitions and also some of our education programs and services and resources that we offer schools. What you can see here is actually um, just a very early concept image uh, from one of our redeveloped galleries, uh, which is about uh, life on the land and about the process of um, agriculture, particularly sheep farming. And we're partnering with groups uh, such as Wadarong uh, to ensure that a broad range of stories are told and perspectives are told on that story. Um, thanks, next. Uh, this is an example of one of the images and collections within the uh, gallery. Uh, so we've been looking at the, the connection of women in wool, uh, and this was a commissioned series of images looking at how women have been involved in the wool industry uh, right across the area for, for a long time and perhaps sometimes unnoticed. So we're um, really trying to fill that gap at the moment. Thanks. Next one. Uh, and we're also exploring some of these concepts of, of innovation and new developments uh, in agriculture, but particularly around um, sheep farming. And you can see here some examples uh, from another concept from this exhibition. And in the background there, you can see an example of uh, some seaweed that's been grown to help uh, with climate mitigation um, from sheep farming and also from beef farming as well. And there's another image there of a solar panel. And if we flick to the next image, Brendan, uh, we can see example of some of the innovative practices we have happening uh, across Australia and in the region that's combining uh, different industries and different needs. So we're really excited to bring the students into the museum and talk about some of these concepts in the online session to look at these um, and I guess challenge some of the perhaps outdated ideas about what uh, sheep farming is. Um, and the last slide for us, thanks. 
So, oh, I think we missed one there. <laughs> um, but there was one last image that we were talking about, which was uh, our other gallery, which also looks at um, the process from after uh, the wool is harvested, I guess we can say, um, into when it is turned into fabric as well, which is a, a traditionally strong industry in Geelong. So we're keen to look at that whole process and, and the history, but also the contemporary um, practices that are happening. So as I said, we're really thrilled to be involved and we look forward to welcome, welcoming you and your students into the museum. Thanks, Brendan. Thanks so much, Stephanie. And Likewise, look forward to working in partnership with the National uh, Wool Museum in Geelong. As you said, so much history, but such a bright future as well. Uh, the next topic that the program Harvest Ed will explore is the concept of seeding change. So I'd like to share with you now a pre-recorded video from John Olive. And John uh, is from Freshwater Creek, and he runs an organic uh, garlic farm, but he's also a member of the Agri Collective, which is a group of local agricultural producers in the Geelong region who are passionate about their profession and they collaborate and they connect and they develop the market with other businesses and they connect it with the world. So Natasha, we'll, we'll watch a short video from John and we'll return to the presentation. What, ex what excites you about farming? Producing food. It would have to be one of the most rewarding jobs I've ever had. What are the skills you use as a farmer? Now, the skill set that you need to be a successful farmer covers across um, business applications, um, technology such as uh, your um, the Internet of Things, um, your commerce, being able to do your accountancy, to be able to do understand your, your legal perspectives and things like that. So uh, farming is not, not just farming itself. It's not just being on the ground or in the ground or on the dirt. It's also about understanding the other elements of, uh, of what makes a successful business. What do you think the future of farming might look like? I tend to sort of think it's probably going to get a little bit more intensive in time um, as our uh, demand for food increases with a growing population, as our demand for uh, urbanisation, certainly in the Geelong region, um, continues to grow. Um, agriculture is going to have to get a lot more intensive and a lot more um, uh, target oriented. I suspect would be a, a good way of looking at it in terms of being able to set goals and um, being able to achieve food outcomes and, uh, and produce. How does agriculture connect Geelong to the world? Geelong's got a, a very, very important role in terms of agriculture in a, in a global perspective. It's got the, the grain port down here. It's also got Avalon Airport down here. So they're, they're two very important uh, transport and logistic hubs that centred in Geelong that connect with the rest of the world. What advice would you give to students interested in a career in agriculture? Uh, I think a career in the agricultural industry is very rewarding. It's as I said before, you're producing food. It's, a, it's, it's the only, well, one of the only things that humans or that people absolutely need. We can do away with so many things, but we can't do away with our food. And it's a very dynamic and interesting area to be working in. So as John alluded to, the agricultural industry faces many challenges, but so too exciting opportunities. And that's what the harvesting potential section of Harvest Ed will look at. Over the course of the program, students will engage in design thinking processes to identify a challenge, to brainstorm ideas, and then to prototype a solution and pitch it to industry experts for advice. The industry experts will provide feedback and mentorship to students to help them create pathways to action their ideas. And on screen there, you can see some of the, the recent issues that have affected agriculture and the creative solutions that have addressed some of those problems. So questions. If you have any questions, please feel free at any time to contact the AEF. But a couple of questions that have come through are what students can take part in Harvest Ed 2021? Well, that's up to the discretion of schools and the teachers. The program may form part of a school curriculum elective program, such as STEM, design or food technology. It may be integrated with subjects such as business management, humanities, geography, or it could even form part of a careers pathway program. The only stipulation is that students must be in years eight, nine or 10, 
and only 10 students from each school in the Geelong region is eligible to apply. Another question that came through is what materials do students and schools need? As I mentioned, this is a fully funded program. So all students and teachers will be pro provided with the relevant materials prior to the start of this program. So this will include a physical resource pack, such as a working journal, as well as access to digital tools, such as online course materials. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to call me or email, and those details will be provided at the end of this presentation. I'd like to now hand over to Hamish Curry, my colleague at the Asia Education Foundation, who is the Executive Director, for some closing comments and remarks on the importance of Harvest Ed and intercultural learning. Thanks very much, Brendan. Look, it's hopefully obvious to, to many of us why we see agriculture being so important to Australia's role uh, right across Asia Pacific. And I think that's why uh, it brought our organisation to try and design this program and then look at ways we can embed this program across regional rural parts um, of Australia. And while Geelong is, is our first uh, engagement space for this program, we are already in discussions with other rural regional parts of Australia and engaging their school networks in Harvested. And so obviously this opportunity to engage Australia through agriculture, which has been going for a very, very long time, uh, hundreds of years in fact, and so now with the advent of um, food security, technology, and all those different trade relationships, it really is quite a remarkable space. And it's something through our work at AsiaLink, where we have uh, AsiaLink business, diplomacy, arts, and other sections, looking at the ways that this actually is intertwined in all sorts of ways. And I think one thing that has surprised us in developing this program is the way that agricultural education is so much bigger than your uh, stereotypical farmer uh, on a farm. Um, there are scientists, engineers, um, web designers, um, technologists, um, all sorts of people doing very specific work, even down to um, PhDs in how to design the spray nozzles um, so, that, so that crops can be um, uh, cultivated uh, efficiently. There are just so many different ways that we're excited about Harvest Ed, being able to impact uh, the experiences of communities and how it ties them into their local networks. And of course, one of the important elements with this is that whole space of global citizenship, which often feels like an add-on to many schools. Now here, Harvest Ed actually looks at global citizenship as being embedded as part of everything that you learn about when looking at, uh, let's say, agricultural education, because it allows people to see that these links tie us together as a community locally uh, and in many different cultural contexts, but they also tie us internationally. We have to understand the markets, the people, and the opportunities that in our region. And we know that it uh, creates some, some challenges. Um, for how we trade with different countries, but this is the contemporary world. And that's my final point, that this contemporary world for our young people in being able to engage with Asia Pacific, this is their world they're growing into. This is the opportunities they have to think about how they shape the world around them, both locally and globally. And so we're excited about the opportunities for Harvested to do this within Geelong and the greater Geelong region in connecting schools and young people with each other, with a set of experts and networks to really create a space where agricultural education for global citizens is just the way that we learn in the 21st century. So I look forward to seeing uh, many of you join the course and the program. Uh, we're very excited about the opportunity we can bring to Geelong. Uh, and of course, with our partners with the National Wool Museum, and there are many other um, partners and stakeholders, which we'll announce uh, next year, who are joining this program from right across industries. Uh, and it's going to be a really exciting opportunity to, uh, to explore what this space can do and actually help put young people at the centre of that opportunity. So uh, thanks again and, and back to you, Brendan. Thank you very much, Hamish, for those very inspiring words. And thank you also to Stephanie and John from, uh, for your insights into the Geelong region and how important agriculture is not just for young people, but connecting all of us together as a community and, and as a world. So the next steps, if this has sparked your interest, which I'm sure it has, 
this is what you can do. So to express your interest in attending the 2021 Geelong program, there'll be an Eventbrite link that we will send to you. Please feel free to share this recording with your colleagues at your school or other schools in your network that you might feel are interested in the program. Please feel, feel free to email or call the AEF with any questions that you have or to organise a one-on-one -on -one session to discuss your school's participation in this program. And please also feel free to stay up to date with other, other upcoming AEF programs and registering for the AEF news. So as you can see, the Asia Education website, asiaeducation.edu.au. Thank you for your time this afternoon, and I very much look forward to seeing you and your students at Harvest Ed Geelong in 2021. Thank you and goodbye.